Good evening, beer fans. Ashley here from section, section-brewing.com, and tonight we have a craft beer review. Uh, tonight's beer comes to us from Collective Arts. This is Origin of Darkness. It's a bourbon barrel aged out with strawberries and lemon balm, and this was uh, brewed with, uh, it was a collaboration brew with Brewski from Sweden. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this was part of a series of uh, variants uh, brewed from with collective arts and six different breweries around the world uh, this is the first time i've ever had uh, anything from this series this uh, was obtained by going to the brewery itself purchasing it i was uh, out and about in the hamilton area with chad the albino rhino doing uh, dropping off some posters for for the albino rhino beer fest uh, that's upcoming so i uh, picked up a few bottles on the way and uh here we are so um this is uh yeah, this is a bourbon barrel aged stout with strawberries and lemon balm. This comes in at 11.5%, uh, classified as an extra strong beer, no IBUs, ingredients, water, barley malt, wheat malt, demerara sugar, oats, strawberry puree, lemon balm, leaves, hops, yeast. Um, no date, uh, but bourbon barrel aged stout, who really cares? Um, there we go. So let's just crack it open and see what we get. All right. Hmm, getting some, yeah, right out of the bottle, just huge, like, bourbon, bourbon vibes. Hmm. Touch of molasses on the nose as well. Love the artwork too. Pretty cool artwork. Don't know if I got it lined up properly or not. Um, so yeah, so we got dark, 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 uh, no light coming through that whatsoever. Uh, pretty thin, uh, nice darker, darker brown, uh, head dissipated relatively quickly, uh, quickly, um, rocky bubble sort of sticking around a little bit. A lot of legs on this one as well. So on the nose, much like out of the bottle. Just a huge punch of uh, bourbon. Getting a little bit of the sweetness, some more of that molasses coming from the Demerara sugar. On the nose, I'm not picking up any of the adjuncts that are mentioned. No, overall, uh, it smells like a very enticing beer, so let's just get into it. Cheers. Um, body's pretty full, um, that definitely has some, uh, like, like a chewiness to it. It's not like super thick, but it definitely has like a, a, a viscosity to it. Coats the palate quite nicely. Feels nice in the mouth. It's not, uh, too effervescent or anything like that. Definitely getting the, um, we uh, a tart citrus note sort of attacks the side of the tongue, sort of carries through to the back of the palate. A lot of the uh, the malt um, notes are sort of being hidden by that that citrusy tartness, um, and probably also a touch of sweetness coming from the strawberries as well. I'm not picking up like the flavor of the strawberry, but I'm definitely getting like a lingering sweetness that's not malt driven mm. yeah the the flavor certainly does not follow the aroma on this one um definitely not a bad beer by any stretch of the imagination but um sort of when you're looking at a well, for me at least, when I'm looking at a bourbon barrel aged beer or a big heavy stout like that, I'm looking for a lot of like really heavy, like malt pronounced notes. Uh, I would expect those to come through and then just the adjuncts sort of being in the background a little bit, sort of reminding you that they're there rather than at the, you know, the, the tart citrusness is at the front of the palate. Like you, you're getting all of that and the malt is, is sort of hidden in this. Still very well crafted. A 
now I'm starting to pick up on that strawberry a little bit. But like that sweetness now that I've had a few sips, it's starting to, to carry through and it's sort of reminding me that that flavor. I'm starting to pick up the, the strawberry a little bit. Very easy drinking. Um, you you know, the alcohol is, is, is hidden so very well in this. You would not know for a moment that this is 11.5%, but I think that just goes to speak to the quality of the, of the brewing that's going on in, in the Ontario area. And, right now oh this was actually now that i poured i can see the bottling date this was bottled on november 12th 2018. so november 7th January 12th. yeah we're, we're at the beginning of march so it's five months old for those of you who care yeah so i mean all in all it's a pretty good beer you know, if, if you like having uh, adjunct stouts that uh, are a little bit more fruity focused, I suppose, you know, th this would definitely be one that would probably appeal to, 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 that, to that type of palate. Um, for me, from a personal enjoyment perspective, it's, it doesn't sort of uh, hit all the notes for me, but still it's, it's a beer that can easily be enjoyed, uh, something that uh, probably should be shared, being 11.5%. I probably won't share, but that's all right. Um, so, from a personal enjoyment perspective, uh, I'm going to give this a 375 out of 5. Um, it's well crafted. Um, you know, the flavors are great. It's just not what I was what I would be looking for in in a uh, bourbon barrel aged stout. So there you have it. Uh, so again, this was uh, Origin of Darkness Bourbon Barrel Aged Stout with Strawberries and Lemon Balm, uh, brewed in conjunction with uh, Collective Arts and Brewskies. And until next time, next time, guys, have yourselves a good night. Cheers.